Hey everyone, Michael Fernandez here from Migraine Discussions. I'm also Director of Advocacy for Chronic Migraine Awareness, um, a nonprofit organization pending uh, 501-3C, uh, um, well basically tax exempt status here in New York. We should have it any time, but you know, the IRS uh, and the government shutdown sort of slowed everything and delayed everything. But I wanted to give you a quick update of how I'm doing today. I received some uh, some good news last night that unfortunately I can't tell you all about yet. So that'll be a big surprise in the future that I get to tell everybody about. Um, but for now, I just wanted to let you know I got a. Uh, I'm, it's my first full day out of the hospital. I got some, uh, no, my second full day out of the hospital. I got um, some home uh, physical therapy done. Uh, I've been doing a lot better with the walker. As you can see, I've got neck ice pack on right now. It reaches down a little bit. Um, I've also got this, this is supposed to be for my eyes, but I've got my Axon Optics over RX lenses on, so, I mean frames on. So, uh, I usually wear this on my forehead when my other ice packs are cooling off, since I use them constantly. Um, I guess, other than that, the only news, I, uh, the only thing I really wanted to say was uh, thank you to uh, all the people at CMA who have been sending the bomb squad, they've been sending me cards. Yes. I have everybody's cards right here. I have a ton downstairs too. Um, they're really fun to read guys. I really enjoy them. They really bring my spirit up. Um, it really makes me appreciate the whole spirit of what we have. The CMA bomb squad sending people um, messages of encouragement when they're, you know, suicidal or in so much pain like I am right now. Um, and just in case you didn't know, I wanted to let people know, because a lot of people ask me about Church strauss syndrome, and I often tell them to Google it, but um, just right now, since I feel like explaining a little bit of it, uh, the reason I'm in so much pain is every blood vessel in my body is inflamed every muscle fiber, every uh, short and long um, is, you know, currently being attacked, uh, every organ, um, everything's being attacked all at once. So church Strauss is something that doesn't leave anything out. It attacks absolutely everything. And I've got, you know, like, if you can see that, that's that sorry, right there, that's a church Strauss spot that turns into clusters, and then they turn into these big red, you know, mottled hands, and it's not fun. It's very painful to type with it, which is why you're getting this video. Um, I wrote a lot of poems uh, while I was having horrible hallucin hallucinations from Ambien in the hospital. Um, I wouldn't recommend that drug to anybody, by the way, from pers from my personal experiences for sleeping because the most sleep I ever got of it out of it was the first night, four hours, and it left me with horrible side effects, just horrible hallucinations of, uh, you know, like I'd be dreaming about these these marks moving all over my hands and my arms and becoming all mottled and. It was just not a good situation. Um, but just to let you know, six days of chemo is no joke. I mean, first five days were 16-hour infusions, meaning we'd start in the you know right right after lunch and finish around 4 a.m. and then they'd start construction below me at around 7:30 a.m. every day with uh, jackhammers. Which I have a I'll, I have a clip I'll uh, put up in one of the uh, summaries about how my hospital trip went. But I have a clip of how loud it was exactly me just trying to talk to you guys while I'm in there, and it's it was just impossible with a migraine, you know, to be in that kind of room. I'm just glad I had a private room. Um, so thank you, South Nassau Community Hospital, for that. Uh, the private room I definitely did enjoy. 
and it's it's something that I wish every patient had access to um, without that high level of noise below it of course but uh, it's something that is necessary when people are in that much pain especially on the floor I was on where people you know everybody's crying everybody's miserable because they're having poison put through their veins you know essentially and they're they're having bad reactions and just life isn't great in the hospital sometimes but um, I've pulled through it I'm gonna I have a good attitude uh, feel very optimistic about gaining my strength back um, I don't feel good about you know the fact that it was emergency an emergency decision I'm sorry I do have a 10 out of 10 right now so I'm having so much trouble speaking I'm saying um uh, you know stupid things like that a lot uh, I, I can't really help it right now I'm, I apologize for that so I apologize for the quality of this video but um, I just felt I needed to get something out there today and I want to let people know how much I appreciate what they've been sending me um, let me see if I can find it here. Uh, uh, sorry, guys. It's very hard for me to walk without my walker or my cane. But this is the type of stuff I got. From the people at CMA, the directors sent me this type of stuff. I, they know I love the Big Bang Theory from my girlfriend, so they sent me these Bazinga slippers, and they sent me this. They sent me a bunch of, sent me an ice pack that I was using earlier. There's a second package on the way. They sent me cards with it. I mean, these people have really gone out of their way for me. And so I, I really have to say thank you to Chronic Migraine Awareness. Um, I don't know where I'd be without advocacy. And uh, you guys have definitely brought me to another level of, of optimism. It really uplifted my spirits and given me the opportunity to bring others into, um, into this world of activism and advocacy where I can teach them how to you know make their voice heard about their disease no matter how much time they can put in or what they can do you know I, I, I can show them that no matter how sick you are you can make a difference and I really hope that with my surprise that I have for you guys that I mentioned um, that'll really just take it over the top for you guys and you'll really all know how you you can succeed and you know like my relationship with Venus you guys know you can find true love you can you can do all these things but like I said the only thing that really upset me in the hospital was that I needed the cytoxin as an emergency because I went into stage three of church Strauss mm -hmm. and stage three is the final stage so I needed stronger medication so we elected not to go to a sperm bank. Um, I don't know if I'll ever have kids naturally now. It's something that's hard to say, hard to deal with, but um, there are less fortunate people out there. And, you know, maybe somebody out there will be waiting to be adopted, you know, who needed a chance in life. And maybe, maybe this is a blessing in disguise. Maybe I'll never have kids. I don't know. I guess I'm too young to really make that decision, but, um, you know, it's just really, it was, it was a little disheartening, uh, having to make such a tough call so quickly and having that, that tough call shot into you so quickly over 30 minutes, knowing that it's going to change your life so drastically. And I really hope I don't lose my, well, I know I'm probably going to lose my hair, but I really hope it doesn't affect my looks too much. I, re I really mm. try to look well. I try to wear suits. I try to wear nice clothing to cover up the fact that I'm sick and I personally don't think I look too good bald. Um, I hope everybody else has a different opinion when in 
if I lose my hair, but um, I hope it won't affect my advocacy at all. I hope I won't become this person with mottled hands and an unattractive face, which is already blown up by prednisone. I mean, my face normally isn't this chunky. Um, but anyways, this is becoming a long video, guys. It's ten minutes now, ten and a half minutes now, and I just wanted to say thank you for all of this. Um, there'll be a lot more videos coming out. There'll be some articles. I, as I said, I have some poetry to type up, um, and you'll be getting some more updates on how I feel, um, how six days of chemo was on me, five days of IVIG 16-hour infusions, one day of cytoxin, um, and I'll keep you up on the physical therapy because I'm going to be having that every day as well. So, uh, and I apologize for my phone buzzing. That's literally, I've been getting so much support from everybody from the, I want to thank the cluster busters, chronic migraine awareness, the people from AMA, the Alliance uh, and, and ADA, you know, the, uh, Alliance for Headache Disorder, um, advocacy um, the uh, I can't even remember the names right now of all the organizations you know the migraine research foundation the vasculitis foundation the church strauss syndrome foundation foundation I believe is the name I, I just, or, or, or association I don't remember the end of that one but I've received so much support and so much support over Facebook from friends that I met at a Headache on the Hill especially. Um, they, they taught me to abort my first cluster while I was in the hospital having a KIP-10 uh, cluster headache. And one of the cluster busters literally, you know, he for the first time got me through the breathing methods and we confirmed it was a level 10, you know, at the same time as a level 10 as a chronic migraine while having a church Strauss flare and I don't know how I get through that pain but you guys keep me going through that pain you know you guys you guys keep me motivated to deal with that pain so that mm. I can continue doing this I can continue talking to you guys making other people feel as though they can be successful no matter what's going on in their lives no matter how much pain you're suffering um, you know, I, emotionally, like they even wanted psych evaluation and stuff on me. You know, they did psych evaluations, all this stuff on me, because it's just so depressing. But it, you can pull through it. I promise you. You know, and I'm here all, all the way. I mean, you guys have my email. There's ways to contact me through my website. There's a contact me button. Um, I, you know, my Facebook. You can PM me. I have Facebook Messenger on my phone. I answer every message I get. Every single message I get, I answer. Um, my email is michael.cma.advocacy at gmail.com. You guys can also email me there anytime, and I'll get back to you, and I'll try and help you as much as I can, whether it be in finding a new headache specialist, a psychiatrist that won't laugh at you like mine did when I said I had terminal illness that broke my heart um, so I'm currently looking for a new psychologist and um, I mean that's it I'm I mean I I want you to know that I experienced the same heartbreak as you guys and that you know we can stick together through this and we can beat the you know the the struggles that we run into, uh, you know, we run into roadblocks every day and we're just going to keep knocking them down and pushing through them and doing better and better. Okay. So it, things will get better in the future. And I promise you that I'm working hard to make the, things change in the future. And I'm a very outgoing person, even though I'm very sick, things will change. If I say they'll change, um, I'm not lying to you. I'm, I'm going to do everything in my power, my 14 years left to get remission to change everything I can about headache medicine and its connection with autoimmune diseases and how we can change the pain scale to reverse neurological stigma. 
I have a lot on my plate, guys, but books will be coming out. Lectures will happen. Um, support groups are going to open up. There's just so many possibilities, and it's all going to happen within the next few years. Okay, so just hold on to the hope and know that it support's coming, you know? Patient-to-patient -patient support is coming, and this is where it starts, by you guys supporting me in these videos every every day and, and me pushing forward, okay? And from there, we'll, we'll just build this thing as a team. So thank you for listening to me in my 15-minute video. Um, I hope you guys all feel well. I hope you don't have migraines today, and I hope you stay healthy. Thanks for listening.